<laughs> I would have just brought an ordinary. No. Oh, you brought it. <laughs> no, get here. Which kind what of did fire? you bring? She look at the sun and I took oh her down the cake. <laughs> Which one do you want? I don't know what to do. Oh my god! <laughs> I guess it is a little too big. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you need to get a s- smaller. Get a, you know the the largest one on the bottom shelf of the on the bottom rung. Why don't you go in the living room and get the samurai sword? <laughs> <laughs> well, the scones are warm, so right. Just dig in and oh, help yeah. yourself. This one? No, sorry. <laughs> that do. Wait, should we take a picture? <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, it's all right. No, <laughs> it's a bit higgledy piggly for a picture. Yeah, sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. You want the butter? Sure, thank and you. You can have honey, honey. Because honey, honey. <laughs> <laughs> honey, you can have honey. Here, that's for the butter. And no, I use um, my own. Oh, well, I figured... There's a little tab right there, honey. Oh. Oh, you open. Thanks, honey. <laughs> she should have opened it for you. Because you've got to open that one as well. This. How many layers? <laughs> <laughs> Just stick it on there for now. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's going to be difficult. Can you give me some scotch tape? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Stick it on the other side. Oh, my God. Oh, the wrong place, sure. Okay, Everything well, in its place. Here. These are these are strawberry spoons and like marmalade spoons. What's that? This one's gone off. It's old. Is it old marmalade? It's gone off. There's a butter for you, honey. But I'll use the other one. Here's the butter if you want. Oh yes, it's (laughs) hard. I can see little more things. Yeah. (laughs) This one is okay, I think. Mm, Smells good of ginger. And then this is for the. Strawberries. Honey, this is the sugar. If you need it. <laughs> honey, do you want some honey for your honey, scone? Honey. Mm, I don't know. Or some, oh, you don't like marmalade? No. No. You can put cream in. On your scone? Uh huh. Because you know they serve cream scones at the tea time. But usually it's not. It's usually like whipped cream, kind of, right? No, I'd have to whip it up. Yeah. <laughs> it's the kind that you can whip up, you know. Oh, yeah. Mmm, that was fun. I didn't make any of them. You didn't? No. I used to make everything, but no, no, no. I waste so much stuff. When you make it, you mean? So who's the tea lady? Oh, I'll be the tea lady. <laughs> but I don't know if it's ready yet. Or do you not it like will it be ready because it'll be more than ready. You don't like it too dark? I mean, it's Well, dark. I don't <laughs> mind, but I don't know about Sean. Oh, I don't know if he really knows. I'll be okay. You just take it, whatever? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're not fussy. No, it's not. Help yourself to some strawberries. I haven't developed my uh, <coughs> high tea palette yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is high tea, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, this is afternoon tea. Okay. Well, we just call it high tea. <laughs> <laughs> high tea is when you're having savory. As well? Mm-hmm. Well. It is. Well, is it, so, sometimes people say, oh, we just have high tea instead of having dinner. Mm-hmm. So that means you, they're going to have a savory, but not a full scale meal. Mm-hmm. meal. Yeah, her nickname's the High Tea Princess. <laughs> because restaurants used to serve high teas. Mm. Mm-hmm. Just after the war, you could go in and just have high tea. And that was like maybe gammon and chips or something like that. And a cup of tea. Mm. Oh, it wasn't all fancy? No. Oh. Afternoon tea is fancy. Oh, we have the name all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll just keep it anyway. I tell you, Sarah, that's a person I... <laughs> I know, but... I've used my own. What? Oh. Mm-hmm. No, this is... You want me to put it on the person? 
Well, I just figured because, like, for example, if I wanted butter, but I'm using jam, All right. I don't want to stick it in the butter. No, that's true. That's why I put that. Right. So, you know, I told you that we went to Edinburgh on our honeymoon. Mm -hmm. But there was this fancy restaurant in the high street, in the main street. And when you sat, the tables were low, and there were easy chairs and everything to sit in. Hmm. Quite big, so he would take me there for afternoon tea. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, no, no, I just put it on the table. Oh, yeah. Well, when we went up, it was upstairs. When we went up the stairs and went into the room, he was all like <coughs> vicars with the things on and their wives and whatever all looking very sedate and everything. We've just come in off the streets. Oh. So, you know, we've been uh, sightseeing and everything and come in and I felt, of course, I was very shy then. I think I've already told you I was very shy. And I, I, I was really uncomfortable. And he kept, of course, he, <coughs> he wasn't so bad because I mean, I'd been away in the, in the army and everything. So anyhow, he kept saying to me, you'll be all right. But I said to him, I never had a more uncomfortable time, mm -hmm. you know, in my life. <laughs> but it was very nice what we had. Just fancy tiny little scones mm -hmm. and tiny little bits of cake and everything, you know. <laughs> yeah. We, um... Tea time. Oh, yeah. Well, should I take this off when I pour it? Well, you don't mind. Leave it on because it's... Well, I'm afraid I might not be able to aim correctly. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't change the angle of anything. Anybody aiming. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You better put on an helmet. <laughs> She's crazy with a teapot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I've never laughed so much in all my life. Oops, I gave it all too much. Oh, hi. <laughs> but, you can put this on your head. I'm not a nice cup of tea, so. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some cream, girl? <laughs> honey, do you want me to spoon you some sugar since you use the honey thing? Sure. How much? That much? Yeah, that's fine. See, what I should have done was whisk this up to be thick of it. That's okay. Yeah. You don't often put those gardens on the table, you know. <laughs> That's okay, we're not. <laughs> we're not too. But you know. Here's a muffin. We're mixing in the American style. Yeah. <laughs> this is a cross. Yeah. <laughs> You know, tell you about Grandma Burroughs. She was, she was an old lady. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, Even when she was young? <laughs> she was old when I met her. You know, that type of person. Mm -hmm. And she had her own chair that she sat in. And I always thought, she's high up, you know. Well, it was all papers underneath. She, but if she was reading a paper and she hadn't finished, she would put it under the cushion. Hmm. Yeah, on the chair, so it never got round to reading it again. So it was all Start papers. Mm -hmm. And then the back, she had about six cushions mm -hmm. at the back, so if you moved, you know. <laughs> but anyhow, I invited them for a, a lunch, uh, you know, like Christmas lunch, I think it was. Well, we had everything on the table, you know, mm -hmm. for Christmas tea. Because then, you know, now people can't eat Christmas tea. Yeah, I don't know about you lot, but we, are, as we're getting older, we have Christmas lunch, but we don't want Christmas tea. Get, because, you see, I day. used to make mince pies. I used to make cream sponges. Mm -hmm. I made the Christmas cake and everything, you know. And you know what she said? I couldn't have a piece of plain bread and butter, could I? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and uh, you know everything else was on the table. But that's like, what she said. She's like, oh, I just want some some yeah. cardboard and, uh, and some water, please. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, oh, thanks a lot. I'm but she wanted everybody to wait on. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, I like the tea. It came out well. Mm -hmm. Did you try your tea? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Strawberries are so good with the cream. Mm -hmm. I like that. Oh, I didn't put the pepper on. Oh, never mind. Do you want me to get you some? No. Hey, Someone told me that, that they bring the flavor out if, if you put black pepper on. Mm. I suppose it's possible. Mm -hmm. I really like that planter. This one, it was, it's a funny name, amaryllis or something like that. It oh. had lovely flowers on it. Oh, the, the plant, yeah. Oh, that's uh, one. I like the planter. Yeah, those plants, those are all over San Diego. Yeah, that's funny. Hey, those are flowery, you know that, right? This? No. This thing? Mm -hmm. It has a flower that comes out. Mm -hmm. It's a bulb. Yes. You're thinking of something else. That's a bulb, honey. Oh, okay. Oh, it looks just like a plant I see all over the place. No, it's a bulb. But She's that got one, the ice plant that one, stuff. Sarah, mm -hmm. I've had it three years. Wow. It's a, an orchid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had one for a while. And my mom um, gave me and I, it lasted at least a year and then it just petered around. The well, mine, less, you know, Last year at this time, it had loads of flowers on, but this year, so when, but it's getting more. Oh, yeah, you see the birds, it's going to have more on. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. So, uh, actually, it was Denise and uh, daughter-in-law got it for me one time for my birthday. Mm. And I said to her, oh, I'm not very good with plants, but that one's lost it, you know. Yeah. But I'm not really very good with plants. You're not. Sean's I either kill them or starve them. <laughs> <laughs> kill them with kindness or starve them to death. Mm -hmm. Sean's good with plants. Yeah, it's always with plants, are you, John? I think maybe Sorry. part of it is the fact that he's very patient and uses a lot of, he's willing to put a lot of time and effort. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he doesn't forget about them. Oh, good. Well, I, I forget about them. <laughs> yeah, I get, like, I don't know. Just not bother. <laughs> you, you had a little alarm on your phone. So you said, go water plant my time. plants. Plant time. Plant time. Well, is it time to start out the cake? Sure. Time to start yeah. out the cake. I'm sure we're Yeah, I have some. Did you eat them? Yeah, I had a bowl full. Mm -hmm. It was great. I'm going to have more soon. I'm making big pieces of cake. I'm loving this. Yeah. Usually I'm sitting here by myself. I mean, whatever, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. I didn't cut these very evenly. No, for now. No. I'm not grumbly if I get a small piece. So are you ready? Can I put it on your plate? Or yeah, you for time. Yeah. Yeah. It's very nice. Hurry, hurry, eat. Thank you. <laughs> it's like a wonderful cake. I wanna um, eat more of these. Gosh, I thought there would look like so many, but now that we're hogging them down, they don't look so These are English strawberries, Grandma said. We can have the rest. Yeah. I'm very careful to look at the labels. Yeah. yeah. Even you have people behind me waiting, and I'm saying, I'm sorry I'm taking so long, but I'm just looking at the labels. Mm -hmm. And the lady said to me, That's fine, I would be looking at the labels too. Mm -hmm. You know, um, they grow some strawberries up in north northern San Diego area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or something. Mm -hmm. So during the right season, you get a lot of them from there. Yeah. Well, I love the dates from California. That mm -hmm. was what I like best. Yeah. Except your mom brought me some, and it didn't seem the same. You know how you sometimes uh, your memory is different to what it actually was. So, yeah. You know. That'd be funny if these came from Carlsbad. <laughs> <laughs> I think the dates that we get here are, are very dry and whatever. I don't know mm. where they come from, but yeah. you want some more water? Here? I don't know. I mean, um, just boil the cat up again, if you want. Um, maybe I'll wait a little bit, see if anyone... Sean, are you going to drink more tea? <coughs> um, I'm good right now. Mine's super <laughs> hot. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> ready. 
If I can drink it, you can drink it. No way. Because mm -hmm. you are all drinking hotter things than me. Mm. Mm. It's been in this show. Excuse me. <laughs> They serve strawberries and cream. Oh, they do? And they make a fortune on them. Mm -hmm. Who yeah. does that? At Wimbledon. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a place that, you know, it's noted for having strawberries and cream. Oh. And I think they're about ten pound a little pun, you know, a little dish. Yeah. But that's because it costs like hundreds of dollars just to go what? I mean pounds, whatever. Probably one of thousand. Yeah, they're making money on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, do they play normal tournaments there, just all oh, year sure long? Oh, yeah, they, they have the tuitions and everything, you know, oh, <laughs> but not on centre court. Oh, really? Mm. Always on the other court. They've got about ten smaller courts right round. Well, I mean, the courts are the same size, but not for the people, you know. Oh, yeah. Less audience. Um, mm -hmm. Wimbledon is just for the fortnight. And then it's covered up over there. So that means two weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that honey? Mm -hmm. I think I'll tell you that, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little teapot. <laughs> <laughs> mm, good cake. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Kelly wants to go to Wimbledon. Or is it the French Open? No, she wants to go to the French Open. She's going to save up and see if she can go next year. It's really expensive, but I don't think it's as expensive as Wimbledon. It's the center court seats are like gold, you know. No. I don't... I think she's trying to go to Wim uh, P French Open. Mm-hmm. I think that's expensive, but not... As expensive as Wimbledon, mm -hmm. I think. Also, they have Queens, which is on this fortnight. What's Queens? Starting, it's another um, mm -hmm. tennis area oh. in London. Oh. And I don't think it's expensive, so expensive to go there. And yet, a lot of the top players play there mm. as a rehearsal because it's mm. grass. Because mm. as a rehearsal for playing at Wimbledon. Oh, okay. Are most courts grass or most courts um, clay? Or most courts are clay. Oh, really? I think it's only in England that we have grass courts now. Well, what about the U.S.? They just have that weird kind of green... They have some kind of... Scratchy stuff. Yeah. It's like concrete. <laughs> so, you see, even though the players might be tired out after um, the French Open, they still, if they can, go to Wimbledon for just crack, practice on the grass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because there's a big difference. Um, is it some about how the ball bounces and stuff? Mm -hmm. Well, it's, see, it, it's the... If it's on grass and it lands, it could be dead. Mm -hmm. So you've got to be quick to, you know, swipe it up or whatever. Because for, for the first week after, of Wimbledon, the grass will be very lush, you know, and then it gets warm. Well, how isn't it very short grass, like mm -hmm. golf course? Super short. Yeah, super short, but it still gets soggy and whatnot. Mm. Whereas the clay right. doesn't, you know, they just so switch they it off. Do they wear after work cleats? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do they wear cleats? Like so. Soccer shoes. <laughs> it just tears it all up. By the time they play one one set, there's nothing but mud and dirt everywhere. <laughs> well, I'll tell your mom how little you know about tennis. <laughs> but she might not be surprised. <laughs> oh. She never conversed with me about it. I don't think she didn't run. No. <laughs> yeah. But... Um, but how come they don't slip around on the grass? They do. They do. <laughs> well, then, That's the thing about it. Well, why would they have a grass court then? Because it's because a totally it different 
type of... Oh. Yeah. You know? You want some more cake, Joe? I might have to try mm-hmm. it. Why don't you have some... Because I gave you a small piece of meat. I'll catch him another piece. No, because I might have to eat a ginger what cookie. The? See? I might have to eat a ginger cookie. Oh. <laughs> 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 I might have to. I, it's not a choice. <laughs> yeah. It's tradition. So, <laughs> <laughs> whether it's good or not, good for me or not, <laughs> whether it's the best decision or not, I have to do. <laughs> and you can always break up a little piece of chocolate for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're eating out of the house and home, you know. Yeah, you have wow. expressions. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No Wimbledon is the place to play tennis, no matter what anybody else says, you know. Mm-hmm. It's the hardest to do. And yeah. the, the players really make this, you know, if they win, win Wimbledon, because when Roger, Roger Federer first won Wimbledon title, the first time he did it, he cried. <laughs> <laughs> Roger Federer. Because Federer is like 30 or something? He is 30. I was thought he was more, but he's just 30. Oh. And uh, Nadal's 25, 26. Oh. But in, those cer- in certain sports, that age is kind of old, like in football, right? Or baseball, or which one is it? No. Anything. I mean, it's well, like, like American football, extreme like sports. Oh yes. Yeah. You know, it's you like know, thirty is old. Or mm-hmm. I mean, Some baseball men. guys playing to their forties, no problem. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say no problem, but. Well, there's a lot of people. Barry Bonds, you know. Yeah, well, that's because he was on steroids. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not like a. Johnson Marti. Sure. It needs some water in it, Sarah. That's good, that's good. Yeah, it's no, it'll good. just be watery. <laughs> <laughs> Is it all right? I would have filled it up. Too, you mean it'll be too strong? There's still water, I mean, uh, tea in there. Yeah. Do you want some more? No, thank you. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Just a little warm-up? No, thank you. <laughs> Sarah, when I say no, you know, <laughs> I don't. I don't need any. going to keep keep tempting you. What if I give you a hundred bucks? Finish the strawberries off if you want. You know. No, oh, I'm saving them for you because you didn't have seconds yet. Well, I'm not bothered. Just for you. Do you want oh. to have some more? Well, yes, of course you do. Well. <laughs> Get those strawberries. Mm-hmm. Are you sure you don't want them anymore? I know you do. <laughs> hey, do you want any more? No. You don't? Okay. Sarah, yeah, I, I, I can get I can get English strawberries any day, you know, now. Like they're in season. They're in season, yeah. Mm. They were especially nice, though, I thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Mm-hmm. Well, I was thinking, what are strawberries without cream? But when I have them on my own, I don't have cream. So I was thinking of your mom, you know, because she can't have cream. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I put that. yogurt on, you know. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> not, as, not like cream, but. That's different, yeah. Well, we usually don't put cream either, but it's nice to have a splurge when we're having high tea. That's right. <laughs> when, when it's high tea time? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's always high tea for her, no matter yeah. what. We call it high tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's high tea. High tea, high tea. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. When we were on our cruise, they had a, you know, like a area where they would do a high tea. Mm. <clears throat> and it was just... It was so good. Oh Were my we? gosh, yeah, it was unbelievable. What sort of things did they have? I, they, a lot little of little scones with the yeah. clotted cream and jam, and then all the little miniature desserts like cakes. Oh, all right. And little miniature sandwiches. All right. It was like the what you call afternoon mm-hmm. tea. And then of course it was an American coffee. cruise, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so that's why they would call it. Like yeah. <laughs> 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 if you yeah. run an English cruise, it wouldn't go. No. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
And they, I mean, it had it was everything. Beautiful. They would come around. They were all wearing white gloves. Oh, and I know. Yeah. And the whole thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lovely. It was fun and delicious. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> hey, if you want, you can have more cake. I'm always scared the boat sinks. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just happened that one time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that's right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I'd always thought, my granddad always used to say, if I had enough money, I would like to sail on the, um, Queen, Queen on the, the, the big ship, the Queen Mary, Queen Mary or the Queen Elizabeth, and uh, just to New York, you know, because that's the only place it goes to, and then fly to, to wherever Linda lived, and then come back the other way. But I, you said to me that I'd have to let you just go on the plane on your own, because you <laughs> <laughs> I would be scared of being on the water all the time. But it's like a big building. You don't even know you're on a boat. That's what he said. But yeah, you well, don't, you'll you don't have to reconsider. Out. It's really, it's really fun. Mm-hmm. We've been on two cruises and it's really fun. Mm-hmm. One time to Alaska and one time to Mexico. Oh, that's good. Alaska mm-hmm. one was good. We went from um, Seattle up in Washington mm-hmm. and then that's where it leaves and goes up. You go from here to Alaska. Here? I'm a friend of mine who've been to Alaska. But they, the boat doesn't go from here, right? No, no, I don't know how to get there. <laughs> yeah. They fly they to a port and then, yeah. 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 But you can do transatlantic um, cruises. Mm-hmm. That'll be fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm not, I'm not doing anything like that. Aww. Mm-hmm. You don't think it would be fun? No. <laughs> you, you see, um, I told you about Peter Rainsworth, I showed you different pictures of him, mm, and yeah. I told you when I was watching, and he's, they go on cruises, mm-hmm. and he always says to me, you, is the cruise still on? Is the light still on? I know, but I don't know how to turn off the light. I'll do it. But I just heard a crack on you. Did you hear a crack? Yeah. Oh, but you yeah. turned the, the... I turned the heating down. To, just turn the first well, one. This one? Yeah, to make oh, the light okay. go out, right. Yeah, I don't think That's it. Just so, so. Good job, honey. <laughs> so he's always saying to me, you do well, you know. And, and, I think uh, he would. Being on my own. I said, being on my own. He said, no, Dory, you make friends anyway. You know? Yeah, you would enjoy it. You make friends even if you're in, when you're in a couple. You know, you meet people uh-huh. at dinner. Uh-huh. And uh, different activities you're doing. Yeah. It's really fun. Mm-hmm. And then they wait on you hand and foot. Just show them what you want your ginger biscuit. Oh, no, I'm okay. Like <laughs> Do you want one? No, no, not for me. I mean, I'll take a little tiny piece of chocolate, though. I knew it. Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I, know you, I know you're failing now. You won't like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're an absolute blast. <clears throat> the cruises. Mm-hmm. There's so much to do, you mm-hmm. could never, you don't know where to go. Mm-hmm. Not get bored. It's like no. at any time there's like cooking classes and shows and, mm-hmm. yes. you know, high teas and, you mm-hmm. know, workout rooms, there's movie But is theaters. this all dressy up? So no. Uh, no. Oh, no. Just wear what a real want. Casual. Mm-hmm. The dinners are, ca- are uh, dress up. Well, mm-hmm. not all of them, though. Like, at dinner you wouldn't wear, like... Like, you wouldn't wear that to dinner. No, no. Unless you went, they have two choices nowadays because not everyone wants to be formal at all. So you have a choice between going really casual, kind of more cafeteria style, or for a dinner, sit down dinner, mm-hmm. then you couldn't wear that. You could wear what you're wearing, or you could wear this, mm-hmm. or we could even dress up more. And oh, then they nice. have like two dinners out of the crews that they say are the, the dress up ones. Mm-hmm. And then those ones you have to dress up even more. That's for the captain's night or whatever. Uh, yeah. Is it? Mm-hmm. I guess they formal. They call them formal nights, and then they don't require that you go. You can still go eat in the other more casual, like cafeteria mm-hmm. style, if you didn't want to dress up. Yeah. But a lot of people find it as a fun excuse, you know. Yes, nice. Mm-hmm. nice you take pictures and stuff, yes. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Good. Yeah, they're they're a lot of fun. Swimming pools. Mm-hmm. Places to sit in a chair and just read and relax and. Very good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wanna smell it? Wow. <laughs> the extra special ginger 
I like them when they're really gingery. The wrong way to do. Well, it looks like we cleared the decks. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> oh, that was excellent. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I was determined that you'd have an afternoon tea. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought. It's, it's English, you know, that yeah. afternoon tea. Mm -hmm. we, do, we don't do it so much now. People are too busy. Yeah. 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 It's a nice break. Mm hmm Yeah. Not more tea, honey? No, I'm good. You didn't fill the kettle. You just, did you hit the kettle up? So how could you have more tea then? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think there's a drop in the teapot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's connected to a tap. <laughs> it's a refill. <laughs> Just the base has compressed water. Oh my! And see, Linda sent me this tea, and uh, and this thing, you know, that little glass thing that's on the bench there to make it in. And if it, I said, I've made the tea, you know, I've made it, I've had it, and she says. Oh, did you find it bitter? I said, no, I didn't find it bitter at all. Oh, yeah. I said, no, she said, well, how did you find it? I said, but tasteless. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like it's when I make it. Actually, I found a better way. You know, you have, she said about the plunger going down, and the plunger, excuse me, doesn't do the, you know, compress it enough. So I do it with my teaspoon and just mm -hmm. break it like that and then leave it for five minutes, time it on the timer and everything, you know, just in case I didn't go for And then when it poured out, I'm thinking, is it supposed to look like this? Because mm -hmm. it's just like an orangey, dull orangey or color. Or yellow, you know? maybe? Well, mm -hmm. no, more... Usually well, it's greenish yellowish, isn't it? Uh-huh, well, tea? maybe that's true. This one might too. be different because of the, it has the ginger, ginger. and lemongrass, I don't uh -huh. know. I didn't even notice it had any of that in. And I said to Linda, it's got ginger and lemongrass in. She said, oh, that would be nice. I thought, well. <laughs> <laughs> but I will try another one. Yeah, try, mm -hmm. uh, like, jasmine green tea is nice. It's not as bitter. I have to look for twinings, don't I? Because this is not twinings, you know. Or uh, any, I don't know what other brands would be. Over here would be making green tea. That came from Cal from uh, Georgia. the East Coast, Georgia. Yeah. Someone bought it for us. Hmm, that's cool. From the bee shop, I think. Because they actually brought me everything to do with bees. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and they have bee company. Awesome. These are friends of, well, it's Anne's company. Mm -hmm. they, went, they went to America because the son's wife is having a baby, I think I told you. Yeah. And he's got this little job. And, I mean, I, I give t money to the children because I'm like that, you know. But that's what I do. So they bring me presents back and I'm like, okay. <laughs> but, and I said to man, why, you know, you spend, it, you don't waste your time and everything buying presents. She said, well, don't you, we buy, we, you know, they like to buy presents, you know, like to. I think, well, I could do more of my time than for presents. <laughs> yeah. She says, I brought the same for my mum. Well, they brought me one of these canvas bags that your mum uses it with the big handles, and it's got a um, bee company or whatever, mm -hmm. you know. Well, will I use it while I fly? But, you know, that's up to Because it comes, I can't carry things on my shoulder. Mm. And that's what you have to do with those because the handles are too long. If I hold the handle, oh. it's on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. I, those are nice bags usually, though. Those, can, those are nice bags usually, those canvas bags. Mm -hmm. They're handy for carrying all your whatever. You, usually we use it for things like, you know, <clears throat> groceries and stuff. Mm -hmm. The well, grocery shopping and I oh. don't use plastic bags for groceries, um, but I've got, this is, the, these children go to a Catholic school called, well, I've forgotten the name of it, never mind, and they made these bags to sell to make money for the school, mm. so of course I have to have one. Mm. I didn't get any choice. <laughs> Anne says, 
Doreen, I've ordered you one of these bags. I knew you'd want one. So I said, <laughs> well, I ordered one, yes, of course. And then Sainsbury's were trying to, they're like canvas, you know what I mean by that? Yeah. Like we, what you used to weave on, that. Oh, like <laughs> that. kind of canvas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, and oh, um, so anyhow, Sainsbury's had them at the end of the counter for sale. Mm -hmm. Big ones, but they don't, you see, what, what I find awkward is they're like carrier bags with an extra bit of bottom, but the bottom isn't firm. Mm -hmm. So when you're putting things in, and instead of being like square going mm -hmm. up, it just comes up like that, yeah, you know. Yeah. So I I usually buy bottles of whiskey for plenty of time, one for myself for to go to bed with, but also for Ken because he's taking me shopping all the time, yeah. you know. So if I get the bottles, I put them in the, the star, uh, star of the sea, that's what they call it, the class, oh. the school. And I put them in there because that's got a flat canvas yeah, bottom. And they, won't be and, and they don't together. crunch together. Yeah. Yeah. And then, because you see, when the scouts are uh, helping you, I give them that bag first and I'll say, put the bottles in there, you know. Yeah. And well, that's the only problem with. I feel like I can see a rainbow, but I'm imagining it, aren't I? No rainbow, no. <laughs> It'll come out. <laughs> I just didn't just expect. Keep watching. But you know that you, if you get to know the checkout people, <laughs> one of them said to me today, Mrs. Burris, I thought you lived on your own. I said, I do. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing with all this stuff? It was like two bottles of whiskey. Like to hear, you know? Two bottles of whiskey. <laughs> You're like, I'm thirsty, and okay? I've got a dozen packages of crisps and then because I take crisps on a Friday night. She was thinking, oh. wow. I said, oh, I, I, I buy them for my friends. Oh, she said, for jolly good friends. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, can I be your friend? <laughs> <laughs> What's okay. your address? <laughs> oh, come on, you can get those for me. It's so strange. <laughs> That's funny. She's uh, thinking, gosh, you're going to drink all that whiskey. And then she'd say, have, have you got help with this? You know, just get home, you know. Well, there was one time, there was uh, it was a Rotary Club, and they were collecting for something. And, of course, I'm when I'm finished shopping, I wait for Ken and Vera, because they, well, just Vera now, because Ken sits in the car. And, and we, they're always last, you see? And I'm always there beforehand. And of course, they were selling something in the Rotary Club for, you know, to, you know, to get a donation for some charity or other. So I got whatever they were doing, <laughs> and he said to me, Are you going to get a taxi home? And I said, No. And because I, I should have said, Well, no, I've got help, but I didn't. I just said, No. And he says, Well, how are you going to get home with that lot? And he turned to his friend and he said, could you look after the store while I see this lady? Oh. <laughs> 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 he wow. was willing to leave us. He <laughs> would and bring me home, you know. <laughs> uh, and I said, oh, no, I've got a friend. I'm waiting for a friend. <laughs> and he starts to laugh. I said, I knew. I was just having you on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, well. <laughs> yeah. <Aww. laughs> but he was willing to. Well, I thought that was nice that he was willing to yeah. take me home. <laughs> yeah. Oh, as if I would let him, of course, because I don't know him. So right. I would <laughs> I'd have to drop you off down there. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I might not even have got home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the crazy store clerk. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the Rotary Club are um, a marvelous club because whatever they do is just for charity. That you know, they have they meeting. They meet once a month. There's leading businessmen. Out from out the town, you know, yeah. and um, they do different projects. And once a year, they have like they want books because it's the, you know, the, this is a funny thing. Charities now don't want your books. Now it's not strange as I tell you that everybody's watching television and yeah. nobody's reading. And the internet. Uh huh. On the internet, whatever. But it's a shame because you know. There's nothing better than sitting with a book and reading it. I mean, I couldn't sit and watch a TV to, to do anything like that. But And this fellow, he got the idea of sending them to Africa, you see, who are, you know, up and coming now. 
in the reading and whatnot, and they take any kind of books. Because, you see, we buy books, and I mean, the novels are not suitable for school children, but they'd be all right for the parents, you know. Yeah. And they're brand new, and yet nobody wants them, you know. Yeah. Seems, seems a shame. Yeah. Because I don't keep books because I think um, it's all the more for Linda to get rid of. She's got enough in the garage to get rid of. <laughs> You know, I, she's she been her, uh, she's been putting them on Amazon. Her books, eh? You know she's Amazon. Been her yeah, books. yeah. She's been selling them. You can sell stuff on Amazon, you know, not just buy stuff. All right. And she's been selling a lot of her books. I'm not into that. So. Into what? Selling anything? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> You're not gonna start a little store here? You can do it <laughs> in the garage. <laughs> Get a little yeah. cash register out there. Put it on your toolbox. <laughs> well, I used to Did give them, the you know, the, hmm? the likes of um, the cancer research and that. They used to, well, I, I I don't know for sure, but I think they still do take books. But I hate it when you get this great thing through your door, well, it's a pl big plastic bag, but it's rolled up and everything. And when you open it out, it says, good quality clothing, you know, and all this blankets and whatnot. No books, no brick brack or anything. I'm thinking, oh, you're too choosy. You, yeah. you know, if they want, if it's a charity, surely they'll take anything. Yeah. Because there is a price for, or for anything that's to recycle. Yeah. You know, even if they just take it to the recycling. It's not place. like you're emptying your trash can in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it, you know, um, we I used to, because we read so many books, and I, I see the funniest thing is. If I buy books, as we take it in turns, and they tell me what to get, but you know, because you know you're reading so many authors, you can't remember all of what you've read and what you haven't read till you get home, and then you realise, you know. Yeah. And uh, and but the books that Anne lends me, I give her them back, but the ones that I bought and I lent her, she gives me them back, and I say I don't want them back, Anne. She says, you don't want them back. I said, no, so she puts them in her, she's got great bookcases. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, oh, well. A little sometimes. better her than you, right? Yeah. Backing she, them up. <laughs> she'll have to get rid of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she knows every book. I had a book from belonging her, and I said, I think this is your book, and she said, oh, no, it's Denise's. She knew it was. Oh, what is it? Jeez. So, so, you know. Huh. Is that a rainbow or am I imagining it? No. Not a rainbow. <laughs> no rainbow. I keep thinking I see no. one, right? When I it's look not it. true, you know, about the pot of gold. Is that what you're after? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> keep looking. All oh, right. It'll keep you busy. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, I would like to win the lottery, but I do the lottery, you know. And then, because I didn't do it, <laughs> when your grandpa died, and I was on the phone to her, and she said to mom, she said, mom, keep on doing the auto, you know. I said, well, I don't do it. I said, your daddy, we stopped doing it. Oh, mom, do it, you know. She said, because, you know, if you won, <laughs> I would be all right. Yeah. I said, okay, I'm doing it. The most I've won is 10 pounds. Yeah. So we'll not get 12 Yeah, you can send her that. <laughs> I give, but Ken and Vera, and that lot, you know, I'd say just that lot because they're all together. They say, well, Doreen, what, if, what would you do if you won like two and a half million, you know? I said, well, I don't know. I said... I might give you a little bit of a share out of it. I said, but my priority, of course, would be my daughter and my grandchildren, you know, and anybody else. Yeah, that. yeah, whoever's <laughs> left. <laughs> but Ken says to me one day, am I in your will? I says, no, you're not. <laughs> oh, yeah, Straight yeah. out. Yes, he does, but he was joking. Oh. But, he was a, but he's a funny fellow. He wants to know to... I, you see, I think I got really too close to him when Big First died, yeah. and now he thinks he can just ask me anything. Yeah. And he asked me, he asked me how much I pay the gardener. I says, I'm not. It's nothing to do with you. What I pay the gardener? Oh, do you pay him weekly or what? I says, Ken, 
What I do is nothing to you. Just <laughs> leave it. Well, mine's, you know. Then, of course, he, he says he comes Monday and Wednesday, and then he says to me, what does he do? It's much as say, there's no need for him to come Monday and Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> so what does he do? I said, because <laughs> of him. I was really annoyed with him this day, so I said, well, Ken, he comes in and we'll have a cup of tea and, you know, whatever follows on after that. <laughs> <laughs> Did I shut him up? <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> but he, he asked me, how much um, community charge I pay? How much I pay for my gas and electricity? <laughs> and all of this, and I'm thinking, gosh, he wanted to ask Vic that, so why should he ask me? Yeah, you exactly. Know, what does he do with him, you know? Maybe he's... Uh... And he's only asking so that he'll be able to say that his is better or his is worse, <laughs> yeah. or whatever, you know? <laughs> so I think, well, yeah, no way. There's my favourite taxi firm going down East Coast. <laughs> The great people and the taxi drivers, you know. When it was snow, I said, I rang up and I said, um, I wanted a taxi to go wherever I was going. And I said, could you ask the taxi driver to stop at the at the garage door ends mm -hmm. because it was slippy to go through yeah. there? Oh, yes, yes, Mr. Bruce, that's fine. So, of course, I got into the taxi and... Um, the one that came back with me, I said to him, stop at the garage end, you know. And he says to me, just hang on there, Mrs. Burroughs, a minute, because we had cleared a little path, but just a little path, enough for me to walk. I had to, enough to walk up. He said, I'm going to walk up there and make sure it's not too slippy for you. Oh, no, did he slip? No, no, he didn't oh. slip. And then, he came, <laughs> then he came back and he says, come on then, I'll take you along. <laughs> I said, no, I can walk on my own. He said, oh, you know, because it's a bit slippy, you know. So anyhow, after that, it was fine weather. And I rang him for the taxi and he said, are you still coming through the garage door? <laughs> 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 so they must all write it down. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah that's you know. cute. I said, oh, no, I'm coming out the front door now, you know. <laughs> yeah, so, they probably have notes. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny, like, it, it's our uh, shop, you know, mm -hmm. the, the business. If we call for pizza, they automatically know everything. They know your address. They know, do you want the same thing as last time? To, it's uh, like they know all. Yeah. Um, it's called grandstand. Oh. But you see, the thing is, this is the frightening thing. In this country now, anything that you do on the telephone, they all know. Yeah. They all know. As soon as you, <laughs> as soon as I pick up the telephone and say whatever, they know where I live and everything. Yeah. It's not good. You know where you live? Yes. On the phone? Mm hmm Because oh, yeah. uh, because they have the numbers, you know, whatever. I don't know how they do it, but it must be something that they pass around each other. Mm. Well, on that, yeah. I can see, I mean, I know, like, that's why it's on the Internet. Everybody's freaking out right now because the cell phones, you know, you can take pictures with. Mm -hmm. Well, they have GPS on them. All right. So the GPS stores where the picture is. Uh-huh. So if I, you know, not here, I don't think, it would probably work here, I guess. But if I took a picture of your garden and mm -hmm. posted it, they could figure out Where it was. that it was taken right here. Yeah. You know, yeah. at what time and, uh, yeah. and yeah. who yeah. took it and yeah. everything. It's like, then yeah. people are worried, like, say, if you are worried about people, would know that you're not at your house because you're here. Mm -hmm. Like, are we, you know, well, I get, I get these calls. And Linda tried to stop them before she went away, but it didn't work. But nobody's tried since, you know. And they, they're asking for somebody, either um, Terry or Jerry or whatever, Hibbertson. They, they say the name. Mm -hmm. And I say, there is no one here of that name and never has been. Hang on, you know. Oh, I'm sorry to disturb you, but uh, you know, you get fed up. And then one day, <laughs> this was so strange, this, it was a lady that answered the phone. And I said, look, I said, I'm sick and tired of this. I said, there's nobody of that name living at this address. 
and uh, I'm, you know, you're bothering me and everything. She said, oh, I'm sorry about that. She said, but while I'm out, I wonder if you could tell me what level of debt you've got. <laughs> you know? Yeah, they're very... And I, I said, excuse me? You should have said it's, it's astronomical. It's huge. <laughs> I owe yeah. billions. I said, that is between me and my maker. That's what I said. Yeah. And I, from the phone now. Well, and fancy, people are trying these to are, these are people catch who are trying to, to buy debt. Maybe yeah. that, yeah. I have to, to. Do you think it was Ken, maybe? <laughs> yeah, he's trying to figure out. Now he's like, he has to find sneaky ways to figure out what you, <laughs> your financial information. But you see, the, the like, woman's like, no, the, 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 the debt oh, collectors, the and they, they, they are looking for poor people oh, yeah. who are in debt and are in trouble. And they're making more money out of them. It's a big scam, oh, yeah. you know. Oh, they call our it's shop. It's horrible. They isn't call it? our shop every day. Uh -huh. Do you need to borrow money for more tools and equipment? Uh -huh. No. No. Mm -hmm. Like constantly. Mm -hmm. I know. It's horrible. But, but this has gone on for well about three years now. So I don't know how, how we can stop it. But well, in in the United States, you can actually call a um, a number. And t or you can do it on the internet. You can take your phone number off solicitors. They might have the same thing mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. Well, Linda was doing something through Virgin, and actually on my Virgin bill, I'm paying so much a month for a uh, call, re you know, call and whatever. Do they always call from the same phone number? Uh-huh. Caller ID? Uh-huh. Caller ID, is that what you're saying? Something like that. Like, but so you know who's calling? No. Do you, you so don't know? Withholding bad calls. Oh, oh, so know? it's... So it's probably mm -hmm. that sort of like mm -hmm. that. But it, they're still not doing it. But I'm, when she comes, I'm going to ask her again because she'll have to ring up Virgin. And yeah. It's nothing to do with me. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anything that's to do with the computer things, nothing to do with me. Yeah. I'm keep getting, you can have this for that and that and for the other. And I'm saying, no, I don't know anything about that. Mm -hmm. I just continue as I am, you know. Mm -hmm. Would you believe that lovely sunshine? No, when we've had that shower of rain, it might not have done much good. Your soil is a bit wet around here. Oh, yeah. Actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it helps. So, the gardener, I had, you know, Vic had this length of, uh, I call it tubing, but, <laughs> you know, hose oh. to water the garden with. But you have to bring it in yourself and wind it round. Well, of course, it was getting too heavy for me, you know. When I got uh, Gordon, he said, I could get you a hose thing, you know, that you pull out well. It sounded very good. And he demonstrated, he got it for me, and I think it was, I don't know how much it was. But never mind, you put it on the wall. And the first time I tried to do it, I pulled it all the way out, and I was round there watering the things round there. And he said, you just give a tug, and it goes back. Well, it didn't go back. <laughs> And I tug, I'm tugging and tugging, and it didn't go back. So I'm here I am, winding it all up and just leaving it on the floor. And he came on the Monday, and he said, what's this? <laughs> I said, it won't go back. <laughs> I said, I've tried and tried, and it won't go back. I said, that's useless to me, that, you know. He says, come on, yeah. He just pulled it, and it went back. <laughs> 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 I said, oh, well, Gordon, you'll have to do the watering. I'm, I can't be doing with that. Yeah. It's just a little it's just a technique, step, right? Just to pull it down or pull it out or whatever. Just right? the right little... Yeah. Yeah. But it went whizzing back. <laughs> <laughs> like a tape measure. But I tried and tried. and I, I was getting so frustrated. Because <laughs> I think I was wanting to watch something on the TV. <laughs> and I thought, oh, God, I wish I'd never started watering it all. All is gone. Yeah. I keep thinking I see a rainbow, but then it's not there. You know that I have yeah, grandpa's ashes in the garden, don't you? Yeah. So that's why I, the, the centre is all I care about. Yeah. As long as the centre's all right, you know. Yeah. But, um, do, you, do you still plant, or does he, do you still have Gordon putting um, flowers around the base, or just... Oh, yes, he puts them in. Just, they're all, he'll he have them all ready to go in, but he's just taken them all out, and he'll have been feeding the soil oh, and yeah. doing whatever, you know. Yeah. He's thorough. That's good. <laughs> I 
That's one thing about them, it's thorough, you know. Yeah. So how many months did you have snow, like, on the ground? Well, this year, you know, past December, we had quite a lot of snow, lasted about three weeks, you know, lying on the ground. And then we would get another storm. We weren't so bad, but the Midlands got it really bad because, you know, the, the traffic is all, the trains were all stopping and oh, everything. Yeah. You know, you, you think we never got snow in this country. You know? <laughs> yeah. People used to go mad about you, see. And of course, with us being on the side roads, you don't do anything oh, yeah. to the side roads at all. It's only where the buses go. Well, the buses don't come down our way. They do come down Farnham Road, uh, not Farnham Road, Hartburn Road, there, and Farnham Road there. And then whatever salt is they put on might carry on. And it come, the bus comes along the bottom there, right down at the bottom. There's a bus goes along there to go to, ta to down into Wickley Bay. And even that wasn't getting done. Mm. But just the main big, you know, because, you see, last year they ran out of snow. Not, no, not this winter gone, the winter before, they ran out of salt. Oh. And they were buying it at exorbitant prices from abroad, you know. And uh, so they decided this year that they wouldn't, and they, ha they had all the salt piled up, you know, where, wherever they was, they could keep salt. And they supposedly had plenty, but they were meagerly with putting it on the roads, on the <laughs> side roads. <laughs> People were slipping all over the place, and Ken rang me up and he says, don't you dare put a foot out that door till somebody's with you. you know, they, they do care about me. Yeah. Know? Yeah. <laughs> He said, Dorian, don't go out. You know, one night, one time it was just black ice and you couldn't see it. And I had been going out. This is before I did my leg, whatever happened to my leg. And um, I had been going to go down to Whitley Bay and the phone rang and it was Vera. She says, Dorian, are you going out? I said, well, I was thinking about it. She says, don't, don't put your foot out the door because she said it's black ice. She says, if you want anything specially, Ken will go and get it for you, you know. <laughs> You're like, okay. So uh, I said, right. Let me give you a list. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're at it. Can you yeah. give me this? <laughs> yeah. But, no, I'm not. I'm very independent. <laughs> I go shopping once a week. That's all. So you're good at planning ahead then. Uh -huh. I just <laughs> get everything. I, I, I mean, I freeze my milk, you know. Everybody says, Linda said when she first knew, Mom, you freeze a bit. I said, yeah, freeze a bit. Always have them because Vic would only go shopping once a week. So I couldn't get milk to last the you know, whole time. Yeah. So you see, I only get the organic little ones, you know, you saw it on the counter. And uh, I just put them in the second door. Why, why would he only go shopping once a week? Because he hated grocery shopping. And he had a list. And you know, this is, I still do the same mind. Because they, I'm always worried in case I take too long because Ken and Vera might be waiting for me, and I wouldn't like that because I'm, you know, I'm accepting a lift. So I put my list down. Well, of course, in one week we used to go to Morrison's, and one week we went to Sainsbury's, and your Grandpa had done all the lists on the computer, mm -hmm. you know, for for where the different dials were. Well, of course, you would know what to do in Sainsbury's now because I. They've been finished the new building for about six weeks, and I'm still n not sure where everything is. Yeah. <laughs> but I go I have a routine because I go down one and up two and down three and up four and right right mm -hmm. like that in case. I, but I'm only looking at my list to see what I want. I don't look at anything mm -hmm. else, unless like I I look for the cake and that. But now I, I wouldn't look at cake so it, you know if it wasn't that you were coming. I know yeah. I'll buy a cake and have scones and that for tea. But otherwise, I wouldn't look there. I'd just go down, 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 down. <laughs> now, I write my list out because all the, the... Mind the computer lists lasted until this year. Oh. I'm the, only this year am I writing out lists. Oh, really? Yes, we got done, them, you know, sheets of them. <laughs> you know? oh, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I um, always want a list, too, because... I hate when you go to the store and then you leave and then you go, oh, oh. I wanted that one thing and then I forgot. I've left it. Yeah, I always tell her, she just sends them on my phone. 
So it's like, yeah, I'm like, yeah. don't tell me. She goes, well, you can remember. It's low fat, this with that, and this label, and mm. there's only one brand that's on this shelf. I'm like, text it to me. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to remember. This. I want the bread with the, it's got a blue label. It's uh, got 400 grains in it. It's got no fat. And, uh, well, you're wonderful.